All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model F510U. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So don't mix them up, they're all different sizes. Um, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, then there's two more underneath these rubber parts. So you just need to pry them up. I just used my nail and pried it out, but you can use like a flathead screwdriver. You'll probably end up bending or I mean scratching this though. Um, but yeah, if you can use like a small plastic pry tool to prevent scratching this. Okay, once you do that, let me see. So I popped all these clips out, but let me pop them back so you can kind of see. Um, so once you do that, you can kind of open the screen partially so you can get your hand in between. Um, and then just get your fingernails between the layers and then just pull it out like that. Make sure not to put pressure on the trackpad. The yeah, You don't want to push the little mouse pad out. So just go along the sides, all right, and you'll see it pops up like that. And then just keep going around. The hardest part is actually on the back here. So when you get to that point, um, what you want to do is push the case this way and while you're kind of lifting it. So pull it like that. So as you can see, I'm kind of pulling it this way while I'm lifting it. So that's how you remove the case. Um, you'll see there's the clips here and that's why you need to pull it back that way. Okay, so there's that. Then you got the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch SATA. Uh, let's see, so they cover it with this little thing. Um, it looks like the SATA adapter is replaceable. So if for some reason this breaks, you can replace it. The hard drive, you just take out the screws and then you kind of pull it backwards. Um, and then it has an M.2 uh, uh, SSD slot. It's B and M key, which is a SATA M.2 SSD. Um, it doesn't have the screw, so you will have to get a screw. Um, then the RAM. So the RAM is PC4 2400T. Okay. All right, so you got that. I already disconnected the battery, um, but usually when you open stuff, you want to disconnect the battery and hold the power button for about... 30 seconds just to be safe. I'll show you how you do that. But basically the battery is like this. Um, and then this little silver piece is um, like slid over to the top. So you have to use your fingernail or pry tool and slide it over. So it's no longer covering the connector. And once you do that, you can just pry it up with your fingernail or pry tool from the sides and then just go around. Okay, I don't want to reconnect it because then I got to do all the draining again. But um, there's the keyboard connector here. To take these out, you just flip these little latches and then you can pull that. The trackpad connector, I'm pretty sure. Um, then you got the speaker connector here. To take that out, you just grab here with your fingernails or pry tools and kind of just keep wiggling it. And while you're wiggling it and pulling it, it'll eventually come out. Don't use too much force. Just keep wiggling it just like this. Be patient and it will eventually come out. You don't want to use too much force or you can damage the connector, but it'll just come out just like that. Okay. All right, there you go. So the speaker connects there, connects the other speaker. All right. And then you got the wireless antennas here. Um, to remove the wireless antennas, you just lift towards the tail and pop it up, and then it'll come up at an angle. To put it back, just line it up straight. Make sure it's completely lined up. If it's lined up, when you move your finger over the top, it'll stay in place. It won't move around, and then just push it down. Then you got this connector here um, for the two USB ports and the SD card slot. So if that breaks, you can replace that board separately. You got the fan here. There's one screw holding it in place. I think you can remove it after that but there's adhesive kind of holding it and this connector same as the speaker one then you got the lcd connector just like uh if you ever mess with the lcd connector make sure you disconnected the battery and held the power button for 30 seconds but um the lcd connector you just um peel up the adhesive and then towards the edge of the golden connector you kind of just wiggle it out just like this don't pull on this or you can damage the wiring okay all right and I think that's pretty much it with that. The batteries here, there's a few screws. Uh, let's see, the battery model number is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's B31N637. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. That's on this, the inside. While you have this open, because there's less screws holding it, looks like two less screws, now there's only one screw. You wanna be very careful opening the uh, screen up. 
So let me show you this. So I'm going to snap this back together for now, and then I'm going to show you the screen. So for the screen, to take out the screen bezel, there's two little plastic things. Actually, I'm going to take the whole screen out because to get this screen cable out, you have to take that out. So let me take this back out. So I already took all of that out. I'm going to take the whole screen out because I think the little bezel is in the way. So there you go. So to take the screen out, what you want to do is um, loosen the screws a little bit. Be careful when you do this. Um, but you're going to want to hold the, the hinges to the screen and then push the screen out with your fingers like this. Um, and then once you do that, Make sure to hold it so it doesn't move too much. Then you can undo the screws. Okay, just like this. Once you undo the screws, you can kind of lay the screen down and the hinges will be propped up. Then take the screws out. Remember where you got them from. And then you can pull the hinges up and out of the way. After that, you can lift this up and then you can slide the whole casing off. Okay, just like that. So that's how you remove the whole screen. Um, and then to remove the bezel, it has a lot of clips on top. I'll clip them back just so I can tell you how to remove them. But, um, okay, I'm not going to do all of them because it's going to be a pain. Um, but you got the bezel here. So to remove this bezel, you have to slide it over. To put it back, you basically have to slide it back afterwards. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So, see, so yeah. This one, you slide it over to the side, and then you can lift the bezel out, just like that, okay? So, then to remove the screen, um, this design's not very good. The hinge is really small. There's not much leverage, so when it's opening and closing, it's putting a lot of force on this. I don't really like that design, but I mean, you can't really change the design, what they did, so gotta live with what they put. Anyways, so to remove the bezel, you have to take the two little plastic covers off. I just use a little needle and then basically just get underneath it. Um, you can also use like a thumbtack or something, but I would use a needle and then get underneath the edge and then pry up that little plastic sticker and then just remove those two screws. All right. To remove the bezel, you just get your fingernails or a pry tool. Don't do this unless your screen is broken um, and let, or if you can use your fingernails because if you use a pry tool and you try and pry this you're going to put a lot of pressure on the screen and you can damage it so if you have fingernails what you can do is you can kind of pull it up just like this without putting any pressure on the screen and then once you get a small section what you do is you push down on the the bezel or inwards into this uh the screen area while you're kind of pulling this so um, I don't know if I can show this on camera. Let's see here. But basically, while you're pulling this, while you're lifting it up, you want to pull this inwards just like this. Okay? So that way it goes in towards the center. And you do that all the way around the edges, all the way around the side. So I'm putting some pressure inwards while I'm kind of prying up the, the, inner, the inner edge. Okay? So you do that all the way around. Okay. And again, this is very tough to do with pry tools. If you do it with pry tools, make sure your screen's already like broken or something, because if not, you might damage your screen. Okay, so keep going like that. All right. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then I don't think you need to remove the hinges for this, um, but there are clips here, so you just have to be careful and then get it around so you can see Hopefully you can see there's clips there, but yeah, just lift it around and get around the clips. All right. And get one more. Okay, there you go. Then you got the whole bezel off. Oh, is there tape on it? Okay, there you go. So that's how you remove the bezel. Hopefully you were able to see that. Um, and then the screen is held in place by four screws. You got the webcam here with the microphone. There's the connector. It all goes into the same connector, so 
if something happens um, to the webcam or the microphone, you have to replace the whole board, that whole camera microphone setup. Um, or check this cable. Sometimes that cable's bad. All right. And then there's other ones with the camera or the microphone that was having software issues. I made a video on that. Um, someone has was having low volume on Zoom. So if you need help with that, just let me know. Um, but yeah, once you remove the four screws, then you can actually lift the screen out. There's kind of a lot of leverage here, but it's held in with an adhesive. So when you move it, just be careful. Um, you will have to peel up this adhesive. Okay, just like that. Right, then you can kind of flip the screen over. You can see underneath. So let me see if I can show this. So here's the screen model number. LP156WFC uh, SPDA. Okay, so that's the model. All right, and then to disconnect the screen and this one, it was having like a brightness issue. I don't know. I think the screen might be bad, but we'll check if the cable came loose. But uh, other than that, um, when you work on this, you don't really want to work on it on an uneven surface, so try and keep it on a flat surface. All right. So peel that up. And then just like the one that's on the main board, you can pull it back, try and get on the end of the connector with your fingernails or pipe tools. But um, yeah, okay, just like that, prize out. Um, that's pretty much it. Basically, to put it back together, just do everything in reverse. But um, yeah, hopefully that video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.